Chris, are we right on the banner here? Sunday, 4.30, Monday and Thursday at 8. That is correct. Nice. Spear Addicts, folks, right here on YouTube with Chris on a Sunday at 4.30, Monday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. George, what's going on there at uh, Renegade Report? Running on like thunder, we got a show coming up Friday at... We run around uh, 7 Eastern usually Fridays and Tuesdays. And then on Sunday, we do our show uh, usually around, you know, noon-ish. But, uh, yeah, just Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. That's the main days. And, of course, uh, next week we'll be here as usual. I think you got something going on, so I'll be hosting this next week. And then the uh, Orange Bowl post game. For the voice yes. of college football. So got some family Fun in stuff. town next week. George is taking over on Wednesday and probably won't let me back. I don't know. <laughs> Big game. No. Um, same old, same old. We're about 114, I think, away from 4,000. Yeah, 114 away from um 4,000 subscribers on um the Den Media Group channel. Every time we get to an increment of a thousand. We give away 10% of that in cash, so we'll give away $400 once we get to that. Um, and then we give away another second prize to the amount of likes. So um, we got some cool things. Today's show was supposed to go in a different direction, but it was National Signing Day. And so we ended up just talking a lot about Signing Day Transfer Portal um, tonight at 8 p.m. I hope Chris, George, and you know whoever else wants to join will um, come to the channel. and We'll do a Signing Day recap um, where we'll just chop it up and – talk about the class and then really kind of go in detail to what the roster actually the scholarship um, acquisition scholarship distributions are and where we need to go and maybe what some things in the portal, how many guys we can go get. It's not the list on 247 isn't all the way accurate, but it does give you a list of some things. Some guys have declared, some guys are hitting the transfer portal, but we kind of already know um, what's going on with that. And um, just to make sense of what the, what, what the day was and how things, um, Shape, um, shaped out. Um, you know, there's been a lot of um, a lot of unnecessary drama that's been going on with everything. Um, but you know, I like it. Um, I like what we got going, and um, and that's basically it. Big games, BS. We had a show today that was again. The show today was pretty cool. Um, and then outside of that, probably on Friday, I'll recap more of what my day was like. I went and um, hung out with uh, I, our signing day. We had a kid actually signed to UM. Um, and I got a chance to hang out with Derek Plaz, um, really good kid. I'm actually – Derek Plaz, I'm going to make this announcement, is probably going to be the first person to produce um, UM content, related content on my channel. Um, the kid is just a, a dope kid. I, I, I think he – jokingly, tongue-in-cheek, I think he made a bad decision. But I think he's so well-spoken. He's such a good kid that I think – if anybody can make a um, make the best out of a crappy situation, Derek will be able to make it. And I'm going to let him talk a little bit about what's going on with Miami and his thoughts on the class and things of that nature, man. I think he's a, um, I think he's a dope kid. Again, um, he is probably how I would – like. He, you could tell he's mature, and you could tell who like, – I always tell Chris and everybody, you could tell who influences you. You could tell where you get your news from by the way you talk. And if you look at the way he talks and trolls people on social media – you can tell who's influenced because it's very much so factual to the and sticking to the point that he's happy that they're having a good recruiting class and he doesn't shift off of that. I think a lot of Miami fans can learn a lot from um, from that young man. Maybe they'll win. We had to teach him how to win in Mandarin. We went over there. So maybe some of that will rub off on him a little bit since they haven't been winning very much so very much lately. As you can see, everyone, we've got a good thing going here at the Voice of College Football every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. We've done this 244 consecutive weeks. It's maybe apropos for me to say this on National Signing Day because I'm one of the best talent scouts and evaluators around because look at what I pull in right here. So you wouldn't show up, folks, for me to break down Miami, uh, Florida State football or Miami or anyone else. Uh, you would not show up for me, uh, but I got George, I got Chris, I got James, and they deliver. So we've got a good thing going here on Wednesday nights. So that's why I'm so adamant every week to direct all of you toward 
the renegade report towards spear addicts toward den media group because they deliver here and this is just a slice when i bring them all together but please follow them on their respective sites and platforms because they deliver every day